Today's Youth Impro 2.2 release focuses on improving existing features and refining them with new options. The biggest change comes to the architecture behind loading dynamic content. We refactored the GraphQL schema configuration and added documentation for third-party developers, allowing them to extend Youth Impro with new custom sources. There are also new filter and ordering options and more. Let's walk through all the improvements. We refactored the GraphQL schema configuration. Prior to this update, the schema was generated dynamically on each page load, not just in the WordPress and Joomla administration, but also on the website itself. This was fun in the beginning when we only supported Joomla and WordPress sources. But the more support we add for third-party extensions like WooCommerce and Zoo, the more this could affect performance. This is why we now save the schema so it is available statically and does not have to be dynamically generated on each page load. Together with this update, we added documentation on how to extend Youth in Pro with your own custom sources. Many developers have been eagerly waiting for it. Now, they can add support for popular Joomla extensions like K2, external web services, or even own custom extensions. They can even create templates for their pages with the Youth Impro Builder. There are new filter options for single custom sources. Now, in addition to selecting an article manually, you can use filter options to define which article is loaded. Unlike manually selected articles which are not affected by new content, the article loaded using the filter options changes if a new article meets the set criteria. Custom sources can now be ordered using the alphanumeric ordering. As opposed to alphabetical ordering, which treats each digit separately, alphanumeric ordering treats multi-digit numbers at the beginning of the string as a single character. For example, it will sort 2 before 10 and not vice versa. With Youth Impro 2.2, we updated the page break navigation in Joomla articles and WordPress posts. Now, when splitting your posts in separate pages, the page number will show at the beginning of the post, with the next button and the pagination at the bottom. We refactored the social element to better work with dynamic content, which means when using dynamic content, it will render as many items as available in the content source. The alert element received a big update. It now has a link field which links the whole element box. Additionally, you can set the style, an HTML element and alignment for the title, and change the style and top margin for the content. We added a new header option called Stack Center C. Here, the header position is split and aligned to the left and right, while the logo is placed in the middle. The navbar is centered and shown below. We also recorded seven new documentation videos on all the third-party plugins we use in WordPress. This includes videos on advanced custom fields, toolset, custom post type UI, and more. Watch our help videos to learn all about third-party integration in about 8 minutes. Youth Impro 2.2 comes with further smaller improvements. For example, we added a custom attributes option to page builder rows. Also, there is an HTML option for the meta text across all elements. This is really useful for the semantic structure since meta is often used as headline. You can now use dynamic conditions with a divider element to hide the element depending on dynamic content. Speaking of dynamic content, both the text color and the transparent header options in the section settings can now be mapped dynamically. Simply create a dedicated custom field to change them depending on the article content. The Joomla Smart Search module now also shows search suggestions in a drop-down. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the changelog. So, Youth Impro 2.2 refines its features with a lot of improvements and important fixes. And thanks to the GraphQL schema configuration, we can now achieve an even better integration of Zoo, our Joomla CCK and WooCommerce. 
Now go ahead and take your Theme Pro 2.2 for a test drive. As always, let us know what you think in the comments below.